There are presently more than 2000 billion years in the globe according to Forbes. These range from those with a net worth of just a few billion dollars to the wealthiest people like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Bill Gates, whose fortunes exceeds 100 billion dollars. These guys may be wealthy but they are not at all comparable to some extremely wealthy and influential people who don't appear on any wealth list or run their own businesses. In today's video, we will go deeply into the wealth the enormous power and the opulent lifestyle of king salman king salman is one such person with the trillion year lifestyle that is likely unmatchable by anybody else on the earth It's estimated that the Saudi royal family is worth more than 2 trillion dollars although the family had modest beginnings in 1935 and an abrupt change in fortune occurred as a result of the country's vast oil deposits being discovered King Salman was born on December 31, 1935 he was one of the first Saudi Arabian monarch's sons he was raised in a marble palace which is located outside of Riyadh the two story acquisitely designed palace featured 30 two apartments numerous servant quarters and lush courtyards additionally it was one of the few locations in saudi arabia with both power and telephones the father of king salman established a school exclusively for the royal family along with his siblings and other royal family members he graduated from this school king salman mainly paid attention to religion and contemporary science when you are a member of one of the most powerful families in the world and have a whole oil rich nation to manage you don't really need to apply for jobs throughout your studies basically you can start by taking control of one of the cities with king salman this was the situation at the age of 19 in the saudi arabian monarchy he landed his first job he was an intelligent and hard working person who soon established himself among the other royal family members after that in 1963 he was appointed governor of riyadh He served as governor of Riyadh for an astounding 48 years from 1970 to 2011. Riyadh underwent a lot of progress over the nearly 50 years he served as governor. Originally a modest desert hamlet, Riyadh has grown into a contemporary metropolis with skyscrapers, five-star hotels, malls and pretty much all the comfort of modern life. Being the governor of the capital of one of the richest nations in the world, King Salman made sure the city had cutting edge infrastructure and that it became a business hub of the nation king salman had a very powerful and opulent life even before he was crowned in his capacity as governor he built relationships with many significant people all over the world After serving as the governor of Riyadh he left the post only to become the second deputy prime minister and the minister of defense of Saudi Arabia he was appointed the crown prince on June 12 2012 and he finally became the king of Saudi Arabia on January 23 2015 now obviously being the king of Saudi Arabia means that you are at the helm of affairs of one of the richest countries in the world and you have quite a few responsibilities to take care of the king enjoyed is possession of the most luxurious places in the world according to some reports king salman has three spectacular palaces at his disposal one of these is the awam palace located in riyadh it's the primary residence of king salman the exterior of this modern palace is a kind of traditional arab design with geometric motifs and pointed arch windows the interiors of the palace are dripping with luxury al mama palace features italian marble flooring stunning crystal shell has expensive silk carpets hand painted wall panels and various geometric carvings Another palace is called the Aja. This recently constructed palace has been built in local Najdi style. This palace features various artifacts from the early days of the king of Saudi Arabia. The rooms of Aja Palace are decorated with historic photos of Saudi Arabia. King Salman often hosts guests and foreign dignitaries in his palace. Ada Palace is probably the most famous of all the palaces owned by King Salman. This was the palace where King Salman hosted President Obama in 2015. Like the other palaces, this Adra Palace also features important marble flooring, silk carpet and various luxury artifacts. This lavish palace became the center of attention for the world media during 2015 visit of President Obama. While the media were in awe of the overall build and luxury of the palace, 
one thing that really stood out was the solid gold tissue holder placed in between the gold chairs that President Obama and Kim Salman were sitting on. The king also has a yard which has its own banquet room and enough room for 30 people to sleep in comfort. According to some reports, King Salman and other members of the royal family own multiple luxurious properties around the world, including the UK, France, and Switzerland. King Salman's and Mohammed bin Salman, who is the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia bought the world's second most expensive home in Versailles, France. He also owns the world's most expensive yacht known as Serene. This super luxurious yacht cost him $500 million and it was previously rented by Bill Gates, who was reportedly paying $5 million a week. Other than that, Prince Salman is also known for some other extraordinary purchases such as Leonardo da Vinci painting that he bought for $450 million. King Salman has state-of-the-art health facilities at his disposal. He also has thousands of staff serving him and his family members. The king has a security detail worthy of a king. With all this incredible wealth, power and authority, King Salman enjoys a lifestyle that is hard to imagine for ordinary folks and even for many of the millionaires and even billionaires.